Well guys, I'm out here at one of my favorite ponds to fish and uh, I'm pretty excited because I haven't fished this in a very long time. Got Cora with me and uh, we're going to try and catch some bass here today. I don't normally do a lot of bass fishing when I'm on the lake in the boat. I'm normally trying to catch crappie just because I like catching crappie. I think it's fun. But we're at a pond. I know there's bluegill and I know that there's bass out here. So we're going to try and catch some bass. Got a bunch of lures with me. Going to try and throw the stick bait and the frog, see how that does. And uh, we'll see what we can catch. Oh man. There's a fish in there. There we go. Why is my drag so loose? There we go. Took a couple tries, but I got him. It's a decent one. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I knew this pond was gonna produce something. Yeah, that's a decent little fish right there. Makes it crappie that I've been catching look a little tiny. What do you think of that, Cora? What do you think of the fish? You like the fish? Sweet. Good start. It took a while, but I kept getting hits. I was like the third or fourth cast out there that finally took it. It's so weird transitioning from like jigging for crappie on brush piles to like throwing Texas rigs for bass. So let's see if there's another one in there. That's kind of a big fish for this pond. Um, okay, but yeah, that, that was good. Hopefully we can catch some more of them. Kind of forgot what a big fish feels like. There we go. I think I got him hooked. Unless he comes off. Ah, yeah. Brought some salad with him. Here we go. Number two. It's about time. I've had so many bites, but I just haven't been able to set the hook on them. I don't know what the heck's causing that. Maybe it's because I'm using mono and not braid or something like that, but I don't care. Having fun. That's what it's all about. There's a fish. They get tangled up in all this moss. Oh. They're liking the little stick bait. I haven't fished this pond in a very long time. I kind of miss it. This one feels like a dink. 
Oh, it's because it's a big bluegill. <laughs> oh my gosh. On a five aught hook. How do you manage that? Ow. Stabbing me. Nice little bluegill. What do you think, Cora? What do you think of the bluegill? Hey, stop eating the goose shells. Don't eat the eggs. I guess we had some geese lay eggs out here. Here we go. Oh, that's another good one. Yeah, baby. Yeah, another good one. This is fun. And Cora seems to like the goose eggs. Don't you? What'd you think, Cora? What'd you think? Yeah? Well, so far so good. We caught a few fish. Um, a bluegill, which was kind of surprising. Wouldn't expect to catch that on a big hook like that, but we did. But I think I might come out later and see if I can get on the top water bite. Um, it's kind of the middle of the day, the wind's picking up. I really think that the frog and whopper plopper bite this evening is going to be on fire. So we're going to try and do that. It's been good being out here with the pup. She's been doing a lot of exploring. She's figured out that uh, there's things called frogs. And so she's trying to chase frogs, which is kind of fun to watch. Yeah, hopefully she doesn't get sick from drinking too much pond water. She's never done that before, so we'll see how she does. She's been burning off so much energy. She's just running and running and running and running. And I don't really have to be too concerned because this pond is fenced in, so she's not really going to go across the fence. My biggest concern with the fence is that she's going to figure out what barbed wire feels like. But we luckily haven't had that issue. She's been really good about, like, if she wanders off too far, I call her name, she comes back. So it's been good. This is a really good experience for her, just letting her explore, because this is an a type of environment that we're going to be in frequently uh, in her life. So it's good to get her out here while she's young to really explore it and make it not as new and exciting when it comes down to uh, setting some decoys out here and sitting in a blind. So that's fun. But I think the bite's been pretty decent. I think that side of the pond's been better than this one. I've only, All the fish I've caught have been on that side and a couple on the dam. But it's been fun. Hopefully we can catch a few more. Good morning. You ready to finish out this video? Get some more fish? So I actually never came back last night got caught up with a bunch of stuff so we're back here this morning and hopefully we can get on a good bite uh, it's about nine o'clock actually it's before nine o'clock so we'll see if we can catch some fish ideally we can maybe a big one or two it's a little bit windy so i don't know what the top water bite is going to be like but um could be throwing a frog out in here but the little stick bait was working pretty good yesterday so i might stick to that but we'll do kind of the same thing we did yesterday and hopefully catch a few fish along the way what else we got in here walleye bait walleye bait crappie bait there's a little stick bait another little stick bait another stick bait crawfish lizard Ooh, that might be a good choice weightless fluke always good purple worm Done. We are going to catch the absolute snot out of them on this thing. This is the tried and true method of catching fish in this pond. I didn't even know I had purple worms. There we go. He's biting it. Got him. There we go. There we go. First one this morning. 
I guess all the fish are, are on this side of the pond. Let's see if there's another one in there. Oh, my dog's in the pond. My dog's in the pond. That's a good sign. She's been real apprehensive about getting in water, so that's definitely good to see. Actually, I ripped the hook off my line. Cool. <clears throat> All right, so I'm having some issues with setting the hook. This rod has some braid on it. So I think I'm gonna switch over to this rod and that's gonna help out quite a bit. There we go. I could definitely tell a difference on setting that hook with that braid versus that mono. Yeah, another decent little fish. It's a chunky guy. I think the fish in here are definitely healthy. And I think my dog is about to go chase a fish. There we go. Another one. These fish just look so healthy in this pond, which makes me, hey, 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 hey. makes me happy. There's a fish. Hey, hey, hey. It's a fatty. All right. I think we're gonna call it a day on that so I can go feed my dog. I love this pond. Cora, here. It's not a bad day to be out here fishing and catching a few. I miss it. I miss being able to go to just like little farm ponds and bass fish, but I don't have too many back home. But up here, this pond is tried and true. I think if you've been following the channel for a while and you've watched some fishing videos, this has been in quite a few of them, but it's just such a fun pond to fish. There's lots of fish. They're good sized fish, they're not little dinky things. So it's definitely a lot of fun. I'm gonna get my dog. Cora, here. Hey, she comes a running. So if you guys enjoyed this video, leave me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It means a lot when you guys do that. 
Um, if you want to see more fishing videos, more bass fishing videos at ponds, let me know. I'm not super technical about it. I like to go out and catch fish. I like to bring you guys along with me. And that's kind of the extent of these fishing videos, if you guys can't tell. So um, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you on the next one.